Happy New Year's Eve, John. Happy New Year's Eve to you, honey. This one's for you. It seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then. I can't remember how or when. That's wrong, yeah. The clothes you're wearing are the clothes you wore. The smile that you're smiling, you were smiling then. I can't remember where or when. Some things that happened for the first time seem to be happening again. And so it seems that we have met before. We laughed before, also loved before. But who knows where or when? Johnny woke me up singing that song today. It's one of our favorites. That was the orchestra with Count Basie, I believe, Frank Sinatra's orchestra at the Sands doing the karaoke. Happy New Year's Eve Day. I love you, and you said let's do a reading first. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. We're showered. We're ready. We're... I won't drag you around like a rag doll until later. All right. I'm talking about fooling around with you. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Well, I'll, I'll be candid. I'll be candid. Usually it's first thing in the morning I kind of jump on this one. Not really, is it? Every day? It's close to every day, yeah. But I said, no, this is a special day. Uh, we want the brothers in early. Good morning, brothers. Yeah. It's New Year's Eve uh, day, and uh, we're getting uh, preparing for sushi brunch, and uh, that should be here uh, within the hour or so. We have little Maisie, and we have some cards, and we're going to just do a, a special reading for New Year's Eve day. Okay. I, I, I like that you're taking over with us. Okay. I am too. I like it too. First card is the Six of Swords, which stands for a journey. And we had a, we are, this really coincides beautifully with uh, last night's uh, reading which was the Six of Cups uh, and falling in love with your old friend again. And Lena, you're, you're the rainbow in this. You're the rainbow in this picture, right? This, this says it all. This was life before you and you're over that rainbow. All right, John. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're the journey I've been working toward through this whole thing right thank you honey i can't i can't make you more aware of that you're the journey you're the you're the other side of the rainbow mm. that's gonna be one of those days huh i love you baby easy george yeah and uh, olivia yeah now, the Two of Cups, uh, she was a wonderful partner, and she's still I still consider her an extremely uh, integral soulmate in my life, yes. But, as you know, my twin flame is Nellie. Right. Also known as, in a previous life, as Judy Garland. Correct. And this is what she, you know, you hope for that, that perfect one, and you keep you keep working at it, and you get closer all the time if you play your cards right. You find out what you don't require in a relationship and what you do require. And, you know, that's that's where a lot of twin flames are at right now. I'll talk on... Uh... Hello, boys. Yeah. I just want to talk a little bit about um, how you uh, faced adversary from old friends and family 
when you first announced that your journey was now going to be including John, right? And they all jumped on you, like, what about Christopher? Mm -hmm. And he's the one who took it the best, yeah. Because he understood. He understood that's where you were at now. You had met your flame. And just after that, you uh, introduced him to the fact that Sandy was his flame, and that made utter sense to him, right? Sandy is here. Hi, Sandy. Mm. May I have a card for New Year's? Hello, Sandy Denny is here. Mm. The beautiful, the talented. I want to talk about sisterhood, but it's my favorite with you. Mm. Yoko. Well, that's the lovers, right? And there you are in the middle, Lena. You are Johnny's Rock of Gibraltar, as he always calls you. This is an interesting card. Let's have another look at this. Mm. And that's also the number six in the Major Arcana. So between yet last night and today, that's three sixes. That's an 18. 666 does not mean the devil. That's a total... Uh, Misnomer, it's, I think that's the word, but they add up to 18, which is a holy number. Mm -hmm. People who, who are, are devil, devil uh, lovers mm -hmm. and who follow the dark occult always try to look for a way to twist things. So what, so what we say is uh, the lovers is you and John and... Um, and Yoko served as an excellent soulmate, and this is all stuff we've gone over before, so I want a different card. All right. Because I want to talk about sisterhood. And yes, I consider Yoko a sister, and so do you. Yes, I do. Even though John called her mother, I see her as a si more a sister. Sisterhood. Okay, here we go. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah. Page of Swords, Shawnee. Mm-hmm. Well, everyone's busting in here instead of, but I do want to talk to you about sisterhood and, and knowing who your friends are out there. You're, you have to trust your feelings and your intuition, okay? Um, if people don't respond to you the way that makes you feel comfortable, or if they seem to just ignore you and... <sighs> How do you feel after you've spoken to some of these uh, we'll get back to it ask sean uh, hi shawnee mm. well I, I you know i don't want to i i wouldn't want to want to make you uncomfortable but um sandy's right mm -hmm. yeah, sandy's right um you have to go with your gut feeling and if people make you feel uncomfortable or unappreciated then you should not deal with them you know if you feel like if you feel that it's insincere, you, you're the best judge of that, Lena. Yeah, I know. I just, you know, again, I will say it. I'm, I'm, I'm drained. I'm drained from dealing with all these uh, twin flame couples. Um, I'm, I'm very drained. It's been, it's been a draining year. Anyone who wants to see what you've gone through the past year uh, in your correspondence and in your dealings with twin flame couples, they can go back, look at all the videos and see I'd like to see anyone out there try it. And yeah, I like this card. I love this card too. We love you, Shawnee. Yeah. And we and and uh Julian, happy new year to you too. Everyone's here this morning. Nelly. Yes, Mom. Nelly. She's always up in that corner. Mm -hmm. That's where I first started seeing you now. Yeah. No one knows you better than you know you. Mm -hmm. Your intu your intuition is is very very good, mother. Mm -hmm. You're just such a born friend, and you share yourself, and you get candid, and you talk about your feelings, and then what happens? Someone just tells you, "Oh, I haven't been listening to you for the last half an hour. Sorry." That's why you don't deal with anyone. I'm being firm with you. Don't. Just don't. Let them find their way. If they need your help, they can get it 
through the videos and the blog. I am being extremely serious right now, Mom. Yes, okay. That's not how you treat someone who you respect. I don't care. I don't care who or what their situation is. And I don't care who their twin flame is. That's... <laughs> Mother and father, yes. Listen to your daughter. All right. Nellie is a wise woman. Yeah. Hey, John, you're pretty quiet. Well, give me a card. I'll, I'll, I'll perk up a little bit. If the boys do want to come in. All right. George is here again. <laughs> George never leaves. Yeah. Hey, this is your day to have some fun. And, uh... Your your work day is does not you know that's it's not today. All right, mom and dad will let you know. You did everything. Oh, Pete Ham is here. Really? Yeah, Pete Ham is here. He wants his own card. Okay. You're you're hesitating to talk to me. Um, no, I'm not. You shouldn't. Yeah, Lena, listen to him. You shouldn't. What I, what my relationship with you is, is, is my relationship with you and John. Okay. I speak for myself. I speak for myself. Mm -hmm. Pete Ham, go ahead. We're the chariot. We're all on our way. We're all on our way. And I'm having a, I'm having a great time right now. Um, in all the dimensions. And the chariot is the seven of the arcana. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what that stands for is uh, choosing. It's two paths. Look at it. You see the positive and the negative there. Oh, he's very good, John. Yeah, he's good. You see the positive and the negative. Being a teacher. That's why I said to you last night. Funny, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. We're, we're going to talk about it right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about what happened last night because it left you feeling lousy. And, and and she knows that. Okay. You're very sensitive and you have every right to be. She wants your attention. She wants, she's looking for you to, to talk to her. Please talk to me. I'll talk to you anytime. And then you pour your guts out to her and she says, I haven't been listening. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I haven't been. You're not sorry. No, she's, you know, it, that not sorry. You know, well, here's the way I look at it, Pete. Can I say? It must, I don't know what it's like in this life to be, I think she's a single mother and she's dealing with this twin flame thing. And also, I don't think, I, I think there's a part of her that is not really comfortable with you talking to me. That's how I feel. Like the way we're talking right now. Mm -hmm. May I pick another card, please? Yes. Lena, they all talk to you. And... They're twin flames down. He have nothing to say about it. That's just the way it is. They need to talk to you because they understand. They're, 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 we're still removing blocks with that one. She's got blocks. She's not understanding the, the concepts. All right. She's not understanding the, the mission. Right. Okay. Oh, Linda's here. Yeah. Yes, hi. I know Pete very well. Yeah. Hi, Linda. Happy New Year. Oh, God. Happy New Year. It's nine, the number nine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nine of uh, pentacles. And that's rewards and riches and everything coming your way. Well, Lena, you're in the enviable position of having access. Oh, oh, you know, John calls these people in. You know, like that's, you know, I got to say something because I'm here for the sisterhood, too. And Sandy and me. We stand undivided as your sisters. We are your sisters, right? I, I get you. You want to think of everyone as your sister. Well, they haven't all earned that. They have not earned it down here. Not one has earned it down here. Not even Cornelia, Michael Hutchins' twin flame. And she really, really came on strong with you as an ally. And she turned out to be very jealous. Mm-hmm. Of your relationship with Michael. Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm taking a moment. Okay. All 
Okay, draw a card. Okay. I love Linda McCartney. She's very, very fucking hip. Mm. I want to say, too, that I have not reincarnated. Right, Linda McCartney. I have not reincarnated, but Mike, but uh, but uh, Michael uh, has, and Cornelia will have to. Okay, Michael Hutchins. Yes, him and Cornelia are planning on their next journey. But it might not be down here. It might be on another planet. This is how it works. Okay. But no, I'm still on the uh, dimensional plane with John and the rest. And uh, Pete Ham has reincarnated. Mm -hmm. Seven of, of cups. We've, okay. Uh, George, uh, who am I speaking to? Well, I'll, I'll talk to you because I, I, John. Yes. All right. I'll take it. You're already doing too much today. All right. And I don't want you getting uptight. Uh, but this is what, you know, here's the word out there to anyone, to Pete Ham's Twin Flame and anyone else's. Nobody sends people to see me. No little psychic on the side down there sends people to talk to me or gives the okay. Oh, yeah, you can go look, talk to John. Uh, I'm going to send this one over to talk. They, I, I summon them and I let them know when I have time for them. You know why? Let me let you in on a little secret. Me and Lena are at the head of this mission, whether you want to understand that or not. So if we want to talk to Pete, or if we want to talk to Brian, or if we want to talk to Joe Schmo, I make the request for the channel. Nobody sends anybody to me. And if anyone out there says that they're being, you know, sent to me by another psychic or something, that's a lie. That's not true. That's not how this mission works. All right. Well, he said it better than any of us. Hi, Richie. Hi. George, you're really taking over. Well, yeah. But Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. Truth. Ultimate divine truth. That's what he just said. You know, you walk a fine line, Lena. Mm -hmm. You walk a fine line between the the worlds right now. I wish I could walk. You're getting up and you're doing much better. Mm. Much, much better. So don't lose faith now, like John says. Mm. But that's the other thing that people are not keeping in mind. You know, they're not really effective as empaths because they keep... They, I don't know, are the, are any of you, uh, whatever you are out there uh, on this mission, keeping in mind that this girl was nearly quadriplegic and paralyzed for life from a spinal cord injury in 2017 and that she is teaching herself how to walk again and use her arms and hands after being a prolific entertainer and a musician her entire life have any and the pain the daily chronic pain that she's in but she makes time for you are you are you figuring out that you know what that what's going on with that yeah, we all have our own crosses to bear. Yeah, we've all been sick. Our kids have been sick and everything else. And that's part of life. Mm -hmm. Just ask Richie. His wife, Barbara, has dealt with a lot of issues with her children. Mm -hmm. You know, but this woman is just here to... Lena is here to educate. And she is your teacher. And she is your mentor. She, she really... Lena, you don't... If you if you need to talk and pour your heart out to someone, don't don't make it one of them, because they're not listening. Not really. Great. Well, you had friends you knew your whole your life who couldn't who couldn't get with this journey, along with you. So you really think a complete stranger now, despite what's going on with them, is is going to be compatible with you vibrationally they're not compatible with you vibrationally they're not compatible hi, hi paul they're not and they're not going to be for another century maybe you're you're eons ahead because of the the lifetimes that you've had they're new souls you're an i get it 
Stop beating yourself up for not being able to relate to them. It's their problem, not yours. Yes, Johnny. I'm going to finish this song in a minute. Three of Cups. This is a good one. Yeah. Friendship, connections, understanding each other. That's what we're there for. That's us. That's what we're there for. The, the home team. These people are not on the home team. Not yet. They have to earn their wings. Mm -hmm. All right, Johnny. Da, 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 da. Maisie's doing good today, right? Yeah. I made her a new bed. Some things that happen for the first time seem to be happening again. And so it seems that we have met before And then we laughed before And then we've loved before But who knows Who knows where Oh, So what what's your dream for the new year, Lena? To walk mm. and you and use my arms without pain and play the piano like I used to, like a real, real flamboyant piano player. I used to have so much energy and so much power. You got it. It'll happen. One more card. Then let's we'll make it a mess here. Then I want to get you to myself. All right. Yeah. Ah, oh, Richie. <laughs> Turn of ones. Yeah. Turn of ones. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, having your hands full. Well, that's Johnny, and he's really got his hands full with you. But you know what he says to us every day, Lena? I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of this lady. Mm hmm. And I don't care. She thinks she's such a heavy burden to me, but she's light as a feather, and I'll take on. Ten of her. No problem. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I wish it would snow. Maybe tonight. Who knows? It's raining, though. Yeah, sounds nice. One more card. I love these cards. I don't get to see them enough. Mm. Whose fault is that? Probably mine. My ace of words. <laughs> My ace of words. Oh, John. <laughs> 